Well, here we are, guys, back with our little BB slash Desi slash Poppy. And it just shows how resilient our dogs are. She's an absolute stunner. And I can't say enough how beautiful she is. And Grayson, you're getting a great one. And I know he wants that. And it'll be so fun to have a beautifully structured, hopefully, we always pray. I mean, her structure looks great now. But you never have a perfect dog, but it looks to me like she's going to be an excellent specimen. And it'll be fun because she's blue. Because a lot of people don't love that, but it's a totally, ex I mean, most people absolutely love it. But some of the foreign judges, especially because of the situation with people breeding over there for profit. And just like I said, who knows why, but some of them are only caring to breed blacks. And the color diversity of the breed, like I say, always is something I love. So I'm thrilled to have a gorgeous blue out there with Grayson. And then here's our little Brixton, who was the one that was most difficult to accept her at first. But as you can see, they're doing great. And it wasn't even that difficult. He just kind of like beat her up for a minute. Uh, and But Daisy took right to her, which was really awesome. And... Yeah, it's been an interesting journey. Again, I don't think Allison will mind me sharing, but she's had some difficult experiences, and she's a really good person, as is her husband, and their sweet dog, Ida, will be a great home for tea, but she had to really think it through. Uh, nothing with tea, of course, but was she ready? Was she truly ready for a puppy? And so both Al and I thought she was going to leave without him, and so we said, go take the time you need to process, but then she was definitely different when she thought it through and said, yes, I really want him. And so now my tea is happily going to be with Allison. I mean, I'm sad, yes, very actually, but I'm also happy because I believe she will give him more attention than I could give and that our situation can entail now. But maybe if I breed Daisy again in a year and a half, if Shaq or Obi are closer to passing, I might be able to justify keeping one of those puppies and maybe they'll be like my tea. And at the end of the day, what I was saying is I think the dogs need us, but we need them even more. And Allison had many years working as a, at a shelter, which I do believe has caused a lot of trauma. And I know she probably totally agrees too. Well, she does agree. She's the one that told me, but anyway, I don't want to like share too much. I don't want to be like disclosing just because I'm a person, but she's awesome. And I think she knows that that impacted her. And so they'll be on a healing journey together. T is a natural healer. I can see that. And he's going to be having a blast with Ida May. And they're going to bring Allison along and she will be giving great care to them in return. And it's going to be a win-win. And I'll be able to see him, which is a huge win-win. And we already love Allison, Bill and Janae and I. So We'll all be getting together. It'll be great. So anyway, here's my video of these two. So now I'll be watching for the adventures of Poppy and Brixton for about seven more days. And then off goes my little Poppy to Nebraska. And then about three days later will be Brixton on his way to Southern California. And maybe to be relocating further north. At some point for sure it'll be, we think, further north. But maybe a different state, but that'll still probably be closer to us than Southern California. And either way, I can harass Sean, he said I could, about showing Brixton when Sean retires, because that guy's a handsome specimen as well. Uh, the one that I would say was the most wanted out of the group, besides near the end, T. Uh, and the most wanted girl was always this one right here from the start. So I've got the most wanted right here but not by the FBI. All right, I'm going to close off.